Hello and welcome to this tutorial covering how to use the XRPL Corium Bridge. This bridge allows for the self-custodial transfer of assets bidirectionally between the XRP Ledger and the Corium network. Here we will cover how to send XRP Ledger native assets to the Corium network as well as assets on the Corium network to the XRP Ledger. To complete this action, we'll need an XRP Ledger wallet such as the Solodex wallet and a wallet compatible with the Corium network, such as the Leap Wallet. So with that said, let's dive right in. To get started using the bridge, first log on to sologenic.org and select the bridge icon from the dApps menu at the top of the screen. Next, select the bridge for the XRPL and IBC chains. Here, I'm going to bridge XRP from the XRP ledger to the Corium network. We then need to connect our XRP ledger wallet and the Corium compatible wallet to the bridge. For each network, select connect wallet and follow the prompts to connect. Here, I'm using the Solodex wallet and the Leap wallet. Next, select the XRP Ledger asset you'd like to bridge, in this case, XRP. After inputting the amount of that asset you'd like to send, select the autofill button to auto-populate your Quorum wallet address into the destination field. If preferred, you can also copy and paste a destination address into this field. Once you've reviewed the transaction details, select continue, read and accept the bridge terms, and follow the prompts to sign the transaction with your XRP Ledger wallet. Once submitted, you can copy your transaction hash for future reference, and you can review the payment details here on the XRP Ledger Explorer. In one to two minutes, you'll see the XRP Ledger asset you bridged available in your Corium wallet. To bridge assets from the Corium network to the XRP Ledger, simply toggle the direction button on the bridge screen. Ensuring that both your XRP Ledger wallet and Corium compatible wallet are connected to the bridge, select which asset you'd like to send. In this case, I'm sending two USDC from Corium to the XRP Ledger. Next, select the autofill button to populate your XRP Ledger address in the destination field, review the details, and select continue. If you need to set the trust line for the asset you're sending in your XRP Ledger wallet in order to receive it, the bridge will automatically prompt you to do so. To set the trust line, ensure you have at least two available XRP in the XRP Ledger wallet you're sending to. Once the trust line is set, sign the bridge transaction with your Corium wallet. And once again, you can copy the transaction hash for future reference. In one to two minutes, you'll see the asset you sent from Corium available in your XRP Ledger wallet. So that will conclude today's video covering how to use the XRPL Corium two-way bridge. For further assistance with any bridge transactions, you can contact support at sologenic.org and reference your transaction hash. Thanks for watching.